welcome guys to another sewing tutorial on my channel thank you so much for stopping by if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe okay so that we can upload more videos and then hit on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so much so without wasting your time let's get started so guys i went ahead to establish my waist that using my bust line and also the half bust bar measurements which is the nipple to nipple measurements it's divided by two the short um vertical line you can see there is um my nipple to half bust bar measurements which is four inches so on my bust line i came down by half half an inch and then on the waist line the line um, below the waistline is the same line. So I went towards the center front and the side front by half an inch to establish the waist that. Then I connected the points together, okay? So I simply went ahead to establish my neckline. So on my shoulder line, I went up by 5.5 inches. Um, it's going to be a V um, neckline and it's, it's going to be a deep. It's going to come down very well. So I came down by 9 inches. Okay, you can see how deep it is. So I went ahead to establish the neckline by connecting the points together. So guys, so as we all know, this is a kimono dress um, and a pencil dress as well. So I went ahead to place my... Um, seam allowance for the neckline this is very important so that you don't eat into your fabric and um, if you've been following my tutorials you know i'm very particular about this okay so um this is a kimono dress like i highlighted earlier and it's a cut together sleeve so i went ahead to establish my sleeve length which is about 17 inches with a seam allowance um yeah 17 inches yes so from there I came down by 1.5 inches to establish the shoulder slant, okay? So this is 1.5 inches and then I connected it to the neckline. So guys, um, the next thing to do is to place um, our armhole measurement. This is totally dependent on you. So you can see a clear illustration of my armhole measurement. Okay, so this is basically where my armhole is going to um, start from. So I went ahead to place my measurement there. So you can simply go ahead and place yours if you're drafting with me. So it's your circumference divided by two. Okay, so I went ahead to place it there. So the next thing I did was to determine um, my body measurements, okay? After connecting the two points together, I went ahead to place the horizontal measurements on my pattern, okay? So on my bust line, I simply placed my bust measurement, which is quarter of my bust circumference there. That is your bust circumference divided by four, okay? So I did the same on my um, waistline as well and the under bust, okay? So these are the um, um, very important areas to take note of. This is a fitted dress. Your under bust is very important for fitting. So I simply placed the quarter of this measurement. That is whatsoever you get as your bust measurement, your under bust and your waist measurement. You simply divide it by four and then you place it on your pattern as shown here. Also, guys, when placing your horizontal measurement, please don't forget to add your seam allowance and your dart intake, okay? It's very important that you do so before connecting um, the points together, okay? So, guys, what I will simply do next is to um, draw a short line there in order for me to connect that line on that point, which is my armhole line. I will simply go in there by two inches okay and then i'll use my um, ruler to establish that short line there 
and then I'll go ahead to connect it. I'll connect these lines that you can see on my pattern paper to my armhole, okay? Okay, so right now I'm placing my seam allowance on my pattern. Okay, so I'm establishing the curve from the under bust to the waist down to the waistline. Okay, okay. Then I'll simply go ahead and connect that line. I'll connect these two points together. I hope you understand what I'm doing, okay? So I'll be in, I'll be in the comment section if you have any questions for more clarity, okay? So after connecting the um, lines, I went ahead to place my seam allowance for my shoulder slant, or I could say the shoulder seam, okay? And then the, the seam allowance for the armhole as well. So guys, having done this, this is our pattern. So it's not um, a tedious task. It's as easy as this, okay? Um, this is it on a spread, and this is what we have on a fold. So alternatively, guys, I actually drafted two patterns for this illustration. And for this particular pattern on my work table, I'm so sorry that I lost the clip for the illustration. And if you look at the picture on my screen, like I highlighted before, you will notice that the sleeve for this illustration is more like a cape sleeve, okay? So if actually you want to achieve this particular style, um, this is the pattern for it. The reason why I went for the previous pattern is I had my fabric for this illustration is a non-stretchy fabric. So if you're going to be using a stretchy fabric, this pattern will work for you, okay? So what I simply did was to place a fresh pattern paper on my previous pattern and then on the under bust line as i highlighted with a red marker there i simply went out there by nine inches so i just drew a line upwards by nine inches there okay and then i used my ruler to connect it okay so it's not um, a complex thing it's just um something that if you concentrate you really understand and then i just extended it extended the armhole to the neckline okay so that's the v neckline from my previous pattern so i just connected the armhole to the neckline so you can see that we're already having that um the shape of the dress for this tutorial on this pattern already so if this will work for you it's okay but the um, density or the nature of the fabric it's very important that you take into consideration okay so either this or the previous pattern is fine but for this illustration we'll be working with this pattern okay so guys we'll simply go ahead to draft um the pencil skirt for um this illustration okay so we have the waistline, the hip line, and the knee length, okay? So, which is basically the full length of the skirt, okay? So, I'll go ahead to insert my dart, which is the first thing to do to insert the dart, okay? I hope we can see that clearly. So, the next thing to do is to place the quarter of um, my waist um, measurement, which is your waist measurement divided by four. Then you simply go ahead to add your seam allowance plus your dart intake, okay? Okay guys, so having done that, we'll simply go ahead to do the same on the hip line, which is your hip circumference divided by 4 plus your seam allowance, okay? 
So whatever it is that is your hip measurement, if your hip measurement is 39, if it's 40 or 45 or whatever measurement it is, if you're drafting with me, please just simply divide it by four and then place it on your pattern paper, okay? So for the new length, okay, what you simply do here is to subtract 1.5 inches or 2 inches depending on how fitted you want your pencil skirt to look like. Okay, so, so just subtract 1.5 or 2 inches from your hip measurement. So if your the quarter of your hip measurement is 9, just subtract 2 from it and then place it on the knee lines or subtract 1.5. And then I connected the points together and then I went ahead to cut out the excess pattern paper. So guys, this is what we have here as you can clearly see. You can see the shape of the dress already on our pattern okay so you can simply figure out what we'll be expecting after um, cutting and sewing okay so guys um, if you look clearly on the screen or on the um, style of the dress you notice that there's a demarcation between the main fabric and then beneath just the lower parts of the dress has a demarcation, okay? So I'll be using a different fabric for the lower parts and it's going to be a stretchy fabric because we won't be having any slits for it. So I basically used a, stretch, a stretchy fabric. So what I basically did here was to move up by 12 inches from the seam, from the hemline. I went up by 12 inches and I went ahead to establish a line. So between the the hemline and the line i established is just basically 12 inches so i went ahead to cut it out okay because i'll be using a different um, fabric for the lower part so there's need for me to cut this out okay so we now have three sections on the pattern which is section one two and three okay so what i basically did was to use this pattern to cut our fabric okay so this is um, the first, this is the second, and then this is the third fabric. And this is a stretchy fabric. And so I went ahead to use it to cut out the front and the back. Okay, so this is just basically what we have here for pattern three. And then for pattern two, this is what we have here. I also used it to cut the front and the back. You can see the zip allowance differentiating the front from the back. So just like I did for the pencil skirts, I also used um, this pattern to cut the front and the back. So as you can see, I placed um, two pieces of the main fabric on this pattern. And I went ahead to cut out the neckline for the front pattern first, okay? And then for the back pattern, you can see I, I've already established the shoulder line. So it's going to be a high neckline, not a, a V neckline. So I came down there by 1.5 inches, okay? So I simply went ahead to cut out this neckline, okay? So we have a, a low neck for the front pattern and then a high neck for the back. Then after establishing the neckline, I went ahead to cut out um, this pattern on our fabric as shown here so having done that I'll simply go ahead to open up the zip allowance for the back panel both for the upper section which is the section A the section the sorry the upper section which is the section 1 and then the section 2 we also have a zip allowance there I'll go ahead and open it up as well and the section 3 as well I'll go ahead to open up the Yep, so I'll go ahead to open that up. Yeah, so we're good here. So I'll do the same for this section 3. I'll go ahead and open up the the back panel. Okay, so I'll open that up as well. 
and then after doing that we'll proceed from from there Yeah, so we're good here. So guys, what I basically did was to assemble this piece of fabric together, which is the section 1, 2, and 3. And then this is the back panel for this dress. You can see I relaxed my seam for the waistline. And I also inserted the dart. Okay, so you can see the dart. Um, if you can see clearly, you see the dart there. And then for the neckline, I used a double fold to cover the um, rough edges, okay? So I concealed that with a double fold. And I also did the same for the armhole. So I used a double fold as well to conceal that rough edges, okay? Yeah, so it's okay there. So what I'll simply do next is to insert my zip, okay? So I'll go ahead and insert the zip for the back. So I'll simply place it right sides facing each other. I'll insert the zip and then um, we'll take it from there. So this is the front part of our dress like i did for the back assembling one two and three i also did the same i also did the same for the front parts and then i relaxed my seam waist seam inserted the um, waist that as well and then i also went ahead to use a double fold to conceal the rough edges of the armhole okay so you do this basically for the front and the back and then the neckline I didn't use a double fold here, I actually used a bias tape to conceal that part, okay? So, um, yeah, we're good here. So guys, so I've inserted a zip, as you can see, okay? So what I'll simply do is to place the front panel on the back, right sides facing each other. So this is um, almost the last stage of this um, illustration, so I'll go ahead to join the shoulders first okay and then i'll simply join the sides together so before joining the sides after joining the shoulders ensure to take the appropriate body measurement okay so i'll use my measuring tape to to do that okay so i'll take note of the waist measurements the under bust and then the new line measurements okay and then I'll simply go ahead to um, secure it with a pin. I'll take it over to my sewing machine off camera and then I'll join it and then we'll bring it back for us to see the finishing of the dress, okay? So guys, this is the final look of our kimono fitted dress, well served on our screen. So you can see how good it's looking already. So I just modified the sleeve a little bit. You can choose to leave it the way it is. Okay, so I used um, a pleat by the side there. Okay, just to add a little touch of creativity. And then I had um, some kind of bulkiness on the, around the bust area. Okay, so what I basically did there was to um, pleat it a little bit just to reduce that fabric so i'll get that fitness around the bust okay so guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys so see you guys in my next video thank you and please don't forget to subscribe and then share like drop a comment and um, just keep sticking with me thank you